This is perhaps one of the longest walks these lawmakers have embarked on in these premises. As they undertake a determined march to get into their offices, tear gas canisters are hauled at them by security operatives. But this action... It all started with this long traffic at the entrance of the parliament. By 10 o'clock in the morning, there were policemen in strategic positions searching vehicles going into the National Assembly. But that was the preliminary to the drama yet to unfold. The last gate was under lock and key. Furious lawmakers demanded explanations from these policemen at the gate who refused to say a word. What is happening? What is happening? Are you three citizens of this country? But even the arrival of the Speaker of the House of Representatives moved the police to open the gate. Football fans scaling the fence into a stadium. The lawmakers started climbing the gate in defiance of the presence of the policemen who locked the gate to prevent them from holding the day's proceedings. They have refused to allow us to enter to do our legitimate duties, our job that we have been elected to do, all because of the selfish reasons of some people that, you know, we cannot tell. Finally, the speaker was forcefully taken into the premises by his supporters. Other lawmakers joined him as they moved towards the main building. The approach met another resistance as police fired tear gas to prevent them from gaining entrance into the building. But the lawmakers forced their way into the green chamber and the speaker took his seat and missed solidarity songs from his colleagues. lawmakers immediately started gathering signatures calling for the impeachment of the president. What's the problem of Canada? We are going to start impeachment here today. Meanwhile, the Senate president had access into the main building without any resistance. He received a briefing on the security situation from the police commissioner in charge of the Federal Capital Territory and headed straight for the House of Representatives chamber. Move the motion here. You are killing However, some of the lawmakers kicked against the Senate President's presence, insisting that he must leave the chamber. In the end, he left the House and issued a statement closing down the Parliament till Tuesday.